one, you can't see it from both ends of the bar. I'd rather not have one at all this year. L Linda, please, help me out. I've got to get rid of these things. Stephen! We don't want another tree. Have uh, you seen Ian? Yes, mate, he's gone home because of his back. So it's just you and me shifting trees. You do know that he's uh, not letting me have the afternoon off to go to Lily's Nativity. You know, none of us are getting time off. Yeah, no, it's, it's bigger than that. I need to be there, so we just... Just talk to him. But you are joking. Imagine how gutted you'd have felt if he'd have missed yours. He did miss ours. Oh, Luke said you were here. Could I borrow you? No, he's not allowed off his stall. Huh? No, sorry, I'm just following orders. No, he'll be back outside when he's given me a hand. What, are you going to tell Ian or something? No? Good. Look, it's not far, but we'll need the van, OK? Yeah, all right. Cheers. Yeah. Right. Look, Dad's had a vision and apparently it can't wait. Yeah, a pop-up Christmas tree shop. You drive around playing jingles, sort of like an ice cream van. What time is it? I don't know, seven, just after. What time does Martin finish work? Stays. Six. So what are you actually doing here? I've just had to break my little girl's heart because of Ian, as if he hasn't ruined our night enough. He sent you round here with some lame idea about shifting thousands of trees that he bought out of sheer stupidity. Hey, Stacey, I'm just passing on a message. That is right? classic Ian, that is. Overreaching just to earn that little bit extra, completely messing up and expecting everyone else to bail him out. You don't want me to tell him that. Tell him what you like. I'm going to check on Lily. 